Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Yeah, they will. They will treat you right. They treat me right. Matt Gibbs is here right now, and this is his show. It's called Auto Repair with Personal Care. He's the owner of Sunrise Automotive. He's also the owner of Crossroad Auto Sales, and you can get a new car or get the car you have fixed. Yes. I was seeing there was a TV show yesterday. I was uh, helping Doug out, and he was watching some show called List or Love It or List It or something like that. It's a TV with houses. So you can either love your car. And get it fixed or listed for sale and get another one. Or just, or just have some charity take away your old car. <laughs> good morning, Matt. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Larry? Pretty good. So let me tell you that I lost a little sleep last night. You did? Yeah. Why? Because I was thinking I might have to get up earlier than usual. I usually get up at 3. But I was thinking I have to get up earlier than that so that I can get my the stuff I do at home done earlier. Because I was afraid if I went out to my car at 5.15, which is usually when I get out there, or 5.30, and start it up. If it didn't start, then I would be out of luck. So I was thinking if I try at 4.15 and it doesn't start, that gives me a full half hour to walk to the bus stop. And then the bus will arrive at the paddock mall at 5-something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now, you want to know why I was worried about my car not starting? Why? Because yesterday morning, when it was colder, I, I took my brother-in-law to Walmart. And uh, it, it sounded like it was a little bit almost hard to start. Not, it wasn't hard, but it was like almost like, wow, that sounded like the battery was getting ready to go. The battery's only two years old. Is that my phone? What are yours? I mean, the, the, a battery that's two years old, is that... To, to, well, anyway, this morning it started fine, so I ended up not wa- not walking to the bus stop. <laughs> can you tell me if I, if I take my car to you? Uh-huh. Can you look at the battery and say, "Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you're going to need a new one soon"? Can you well, do that? Well, I mean, I, <clears throat> I can look at your battery, but I can't tell you if you need a new one soon. But I can put it on a piece of test equipment. <laughs> <laughs> You're being funny. So and really, I, you can you can you can test it somehow, and uh-huh. it'll say. Oh, this will be good for a while. Yeah, I mean, it'll it'll come back and it'll say, you know, moderate, good, poor, poor, now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and if it's now, how much does the battery cost? Oh, batteries are kind of getting up there. Be- like 150 Yeah, probably something we're right That's in what there. I expected, yeah. yeah. Well, see, I bought this one two years ago. Now, does that seem... Like enough time to, for a battery to die? Well, you, you might have warranty left on it. Depends that's what, on the battery. That's what I thought. You might have warranty. I don't know what I got. I have to go to you. See, this is what, that, that song, You Will Treat Me Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to you gotta come by. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, I got a few things I need. The oil. Okay. The headlight. Okay. And now the battery needs okay. to be checked. Because to, to Wednesday morning, it's going to be really cold. You know this, right? No. You didn't hear this? No. There's a freeze warning, freeze watch. I mean, the, that you, if they say warning, it means they're sure. If it says watch, they're pretty sure, but they're not sure. <laughs> it's a freeze watch for for Tuesday night. That's tomorrow. I know. That means Wednesday morning when I try to start my car, it might I might need to walk to the bus stop. You might have to get up at midnight. <laughs> 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 well, see, that was the problem. I was so worried about n- needing to get up earlier than early that I was not sleeping. You know, I have a, I have something in my car. I should go get it and show it to you. What is it? It is a jump box. Okay? Yeah. It is nanotechnology. How much is it? They're $125. It's probably not... It's. I know we're on the radio, so this is kind of hard. Size of a tissue box? What were uh, you going to uh, put? Yeah, about the size of a... T- it's smaller. That you could put it inside a tissue box. And it is enough energy to start a car? It is an incredible little piece of... Uh, a little. I keep one in my car. I keep... I, I have a couple at the shop. I have these things everywhere. The, a few years ago, maybe more than a few years ago, there was something advertised that you could plug into your cigarette lighter. And you could jump your car with that. Is that still around? Okay, well. Here, or, or did that even exist? Well, well here, here's the thing. 
Okay, you're gonna plug this device into your <laughs> cigarette lighter. That, have that, you ever heard that, of that? that? Yeah, I have. Okay, okay, and it's, okay. okay, and it's still and it's de- but the battery's dead. <laughs> you know. Stop thinking about it. No, 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 no. It was supposed to reverse. You put the power th- to the battery through the cigarette lighter. Okay. All right. Here, 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 here. let's let's go to the second the, the second <laughs> thought I have. <laughs> we don't have enough. Uh, yeah, that that those things do work. I they that we use them. We have a little nine volt battery right. that we can plug into the cigarette lighter. Yeah. Nine and volt. It's a nine volt. Yeah. Okay. And what it does is it retains all your memory, uh, your clock, your radio stations. It keeps certain things alive oh, while okay. you're doing repairs. Okay. So that I don't erase all your all your memories. Like it's so hard to find the radio stations again. Right. And and and, and but it's 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 something that we we try to we try to do. The phone lines are available for our listeners, and that's why we go to them. So let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Good morning, Larry and Matt. Hey. Good morning. Hey, I was going to mention also, I love those jump boxes. I keep one in all my cars. I've never had to jump myself, but I've jumped other people. When you see somebody in the parking lot with their hood up, you go by, hey, I need to jump, and you're, you, you can rescue them. Yep, absolutely. Come in handy a lot. And uh, you get the deluxe ones have an air pump in it, too. If you get a, a come out to your car and it's got a low tire... You can pump it up enough to get home. Yeah, but oh, wow. this, this jump have a combined air pump. This jump box is not like anything you've ever seen. You could actually put this in your glove box. Yeah, the little tiny new ones. The, the, the new ones with ones. nano technology. You charge them up, and they yeah. can sit in your car for two years, wow. and they won't lose the charge. Yeah, well, I got the old fashioned ones. They're pretty heavy, but but it's got like a I don't know like a, a little bigger, like a lunch box kind of size, and they're pretty heavy, but um, it saves. It's a uh, Good to carry if you're going to be traveling or or you're. That'd be a good a gift for somebody. Kind of it would be. Be a good gift for Larry, <laughs> so he doesn't have to get yeah. up at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Mm. I don't know if his car is going to make it though. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll keep his car going. It's Larry I worry about. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good day. Thank you. you Thank too. you for the call. And you have another call, Matt. Good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Uh, good morning, Matt. I, my car is, I have one car that sits a lot, and I went to start it up uh, one day, and uh, nothing. So, But I remember the trick that uh, used to work years ago, and I tried it, and it worked for me. Uh, you put your headlights on for about 20 or 30 seconds. It's got to be at least uh, 20 seconds. And then you shut the switch off, and that's... Or somehow the other gets the electrons lined up to know that they're going to be asked to do some work. And uh, I was able to start the car right up as soon as after I did that uh, thing with the headlights. And I'm just curious as to uh, if you've ever heard of that before, and I'll hang up and listen. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have. I have. You know, I've seen cars where people go out and try to start it, and it, it won't do nothing. You know, maybe click, 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 yeah, click. Yeah, yeah. And they get frustrated, walk away, come back, and then it, and all of a sudden now it starts. But it's usually a weak start. You know, you can tell that, right. mm-hmm. that there's something going on. Well, I, I uh, don't know much about mechanics, but I remember one time learning that if I tapped on my starter with a hammer, that it would start if it, if it, if it was a... If it was your starter. <laughs> yeah, if it was a starter. I actually, I actually like impressed a guy I worked with. Because he, he said, there's anything, do you know anything about cars? I said, no, not really. So he tried it. And I said, well, let me try something. He said, what are you going to do with a hammer? I said, I'm just going to go underneath. Just tap something. Just So I, I tapped it and I yelled, try it now. And boom, it started up. I said, whoa. There you go. I learned something and it worked. Yeah, we do that. We hit starters and fuel <laughs> pumps. You can. <clears throat> I wouldn't know where to go for that. Well, I got a big rubber mallet. <laughs> but see, I, would, I, I remember telling him, don't. Depend on that because next time you try to start, oh, absolutely, it, yeah, yeah, just get to where you got to go, yeah, and then get it changed. That's right. Just go straight to sunrise. So I may, I, so I may need a new battery. I'll have to have you check it. And tell yeah, me. let's check it and see. Otherwise, let's not assume. Otherwise, I'm on the sun train. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd be a no, no. It's a mile to walk to the bus stop. It's four miles to walk here. 
I get a bicycle, I could. You could pedal to the bus stop and put the bike on the front of the. Central. I know. I've often thought that'd be a cool idea. That would be a cool idea, wouldn't it? it I, yeah, it would be adventurous. Why? Why? Did you have a problem with the word "cool"? Look, no. you don't think it's cool? <laughs> no, I don't think. No, I don't have a word with. The, I don't have a problem with the word "cool." I just don't think that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! We just take a break. Uh, the phone lines are open. If you want to call Matt with your car question, 622-9622. We'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. More clouds and sun warm and humid today with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm around this afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s to mid-80s. Mostly cloudy and breezy tonight with a shower and thunderstorm around. The overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. Tomorrow morning shower along the coast. Otherwise, clouds will give way to some sun. A breezy, much cooler day. Highs only in the mid-50s in the northernmost part of the zone to the low 60s in the south. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Let's face it. Nowadays, it can be hard to find American-made products. And that's something that Cabinet Sales of North Florida is well aware of. That's why they're an authorized dealer of well-born cabinetry, family-owned and American-made since 1961. Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your answer for complete turnkey kitchen remodels and whole house cabinetry. Their cabinets are finished with solvent-based enamels for a long-lasting finish that's second to none. Available in an incredible selection of door styles and colors to choose from to turn your dream kitchen into a reality. In-house design and drawing services are available. Come by and see our displays for yourself at the Floors of the Villages, 3935 County Road 216 in Oxford or Exquisite Design Kitchen and Bath in Bellevue, right across the street from the Bellevue Library. So whether you're looking for bookcases, kitchen, bath, or outdoor kitchen, Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your one-stop source of quality cabinets. For a free estimate, call 352-427-2647. That's 352-427-2647. Cabinet Sales of North Florida. Wrap it, seal it, tape it, wrap it, wrap it, seal it, tape it, wrap it. Need help getting something awkward, large, or fragile expertly packed or custom crated and shipped somewhere else? Call on the professionals at PacMail. The experts at PacMail can ship anything anywhere and will find the perfect solution to even the most difficult shipping problems. From that big screen TV to the antique china cabinet, no item is too large or too delicate for the professionals at PacMail. Call on PacMail located in Churchill Square Shopping Center, Ocala, or at telephone 368-9779 to handle all of your packing and shipping needs. We ship anything anywhere. All right, 17 minutes after 10 o'clock. Yeah, this is the season. You start to ship things different places. Uh, the phone line is open, 622-9622. If you want to speak to Matt, 622-WOCA. There was a call coming through during the break, and I guess they gave up. So the lines are open if you want to call in right now with your questions. So is there anything, let's see, if there is a hard freeze. Now, this, this weather forecast for Tuesday night, says what i say 27 degrees is the possible low here in in our area that's not low enough to really freeze the water like in your well you don't got to worry about your radiator you got to worry about the the other things right the the windshield washers and those things those are the things that freeze right around here well yeah i mean and and you need to make sure that the the coolant level is proper in the car you know okay my my big thing is it's it's, it's going to be cold. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air with Matt. <laughs> yeah, good morning, guys, and Matt. Morning. See, uh, Matt, can you explain to me uh, uh, what a directional tire is and why would you put those on your car? Well, a direction, why you would put them on your car? I, I don't yeah. really know why you would put them on your car. I guess it would be something that you you uh, you have a preference to. Um can you go only one direction? Yeah, they go on one one direction. Really? Uh, you can't yeah. back up? No you, no, you can back up, but when you <laughs> mount them on the car, you want them to go. And and the reason that they're directional is because of the way that they're cut, the way the tread is designed huh? to push out, you know, the push out the water, to push oh. out whatever. Is that a gimmick or does that really work? No, it, it's, it's, it's there. It's mm. true. Um, you know, if you have... A lot of them too. They'll have a little. They have a little gauge on the on the side of the tire. It's a little plastic gauge. It says right front, right rear, left oh, front, really? left rear, and then you set the little. There's a little arrow on them, and you point them to wherever you have them on the car, so that if you ta- if you're working on it, you take it apart and stuff, and you want to make sure you put the tires back oh, in the proper oh, place. Oh wow! But um, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to rotate that tire then, right? Well, you can rotate the tire. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, you have to literally break them down, though. It's not like, you know, you would you would take the tire off the wheel and then you can move them around that way. Because a lot of times, um, especially on – you see them more on, like, sports cars and stuff like that. So – and a lot of times the, the, the wheel might be a little bit different in the front than it is in the back. So – but it might be using the same tire size. So you would actually break that tire off the wheel, put the tire where you, you know, opposite of where you wanted it. Uh, you yeah. know, basically you want to keep all the right side tires on the right side, left side tires on the left side. When you're shopping for tires, uh, can you accidentally, without knowing it, buy a directional tire? I mean, is it marked pretty simply, or, or what's the deal on that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's it, it'll like if you're shopping online you gotta make sure you read all the the notes and the you know the fine print so to speak you know when you're when you're buying what whatever whatever it is that you're wanting but you know typically you're gonna go in and you're gonna you know you're gonna buy a passenger tire or a truck tire or or something like that i mean if if you're out looking for directional tires you're then you know what you're wanting you're wanting something pacific Okay, and would it be more expensive? Yes, they are more expensive. Okay, and does all the all the manufacturers make a directional tire? Or I don't know company? if I don't know. I I think I might have put on ten sets of directional tires in the last fifteen years. No, and, really? and that's just because someone wants that particular tire put on their car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, they they look pretty much like a regular tire. I mean, right? Yeah, they, they, it's just a tire. It's just a design, and the tread design is is really what makes. It. And I think there might be some kind of the way that they build the tire. You know, the, the steel may be laid in a certain direction. Yeah. And yeah. as they're manufacturing the tire, I've never cut one apart and looked inside of it and see how it's done. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. You know, it's weird. Back in the days when we rode horses. Um, if we retired a horse, we weren't going to use it anymore. But if we retire a car, we're, we're going to use it some more. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to use it for every little bit and piece and part and scrap. I'm, ret- I'm retiring my car. I'm retiring it. <laughs> it, just, it just occurred to me that when you retired a horse, you were done with it. But when you retire your car, you, you, you want to use it some more. Well, and if you don't want to use it, someone else will. I, I was in a wreck one time right after I retired my car. And then I really retired my car. <laughs> but it was such a shame. I mean, I hate buying tires because it's like this unnecessary expense. It's not fun. Tires are not fun. <laughs> like that one guy said, tires ain't pretty. Remember that guy? Yeah. Tires ain't pretty. <laughs> but you buy them because, ah, and then, you're always, then you feel safer. Oh, I got the good tires on now. And then boom. So, so I wonder if somebody who had the directional tires reported back have you had anybody give you feedback oh my gosh it's so much easier to drive in the rain now i mean have no, you had that no. no no most of the most of the cars that the cars that i think I, I would say the majority of cars i put directional tires on probably don't ever seen the rain so the could you give me the like a personality profile of the person who would buy the the well, uh, let's say a corvette owner oh somebody a who a porsche owner oh. you know somebody that you know, uh, or or somebody that let's say is uh, I, I would say <coughs> so, the car they're expensive. Mean, they're the expensive. car means more to them than the average person. I would think that the average person looks at their car as means of transportation. Yeah, like me, right? And 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 then there's those that you love know, it. It's it's. I want to be there. Though. Is more than just a car. See, this is where I want to be. I actually want to be that way. I actually want to get in my car and say, "This is great," and then just drive because it looks. Some people make driving look like it's like in the movies, <laughs> the driving through the desert, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, when you drive down the road and you see a five hundred dollar car that has a five hundred dollar car, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a five hundred dollar car. <laughs> right. But they put twenty five thousand dollars in it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Yeah. That means more to that person. Yeah, than what that car would mean to me. Oh, okay. It's it's a, it's an extension of their personality. It's a part of them. 
<coughs> there's a lot of people that – I mean, if you had the opportunity to go to the Ocala Pumpkin Run a couple weeks ago, you'd have seen a lot of pretty cool cars. Nice, nice-looking cars, huh? You know? Um, I was talking to a friend of mine this weekend – that um, has picked up a project on a car that the person has already spent two hundred and ten thousand dollars on. Wow! And is not done with the car. Wow! Two hundred ten thousand dollars. That's amazing. That is more than a car to that person. Yeah, that is. You know, that is, you see that's what I'm a saying. Lot. So they're driving that thing around. They're not. They don't drive it around. <laughs> they don't drive it. Just, you don't drive. It's a toy. It's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a it's, showpiece. It's a showpiece. By the way, I think the whole country says the word wrong. We all say car, except for Boston. They call it a car. A car. Right. You know why I think they they actually are the ones who say it correctly. Why? Be- no, no, no. You, no, no, no. They do. Okay. Why? You know why? Why? Because the word car comes from the word carriage. So it's really a car. <laughs> It's a car, brother. <laughs> it's, no, no, no. If you think about it, it comes from the word carriage. And then we had the horseless carriage. Right. And then they just said, well, just call it the C-A-R, just, just abbreviate it. Okay. And so then it's a, it's a car. It's a car. <laughs> you pack the car in the garage. <laughs> that's, where, that's where you put the horse before. Uh, all right, so, so the cold temperatures that are coming in. Uh, so that little thing that you had that will pump up my battery, mm-hmm. I can get that where? At your place? Mm-hmm. You sell them? Mm-hmm. And you said they're $150? 100, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the battery itself is 150 Yeah. Hmm. But it's good to have. And like, like the, the other caller called in, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm at the mall after the show, I'm, I'm going to my car, I see somebody with a hood up and their car's dead. Yeah. I'd rather use my jump box than hook it up to I my know. car. I know. That sounds a lot better. It's safer. It's not only is it safer, it's, it's better for... For my car. Have you done this? Are they surprised that you can do that? Like, are they surprised if somebody says to you, can I have a jump and you pull out this little Yeah, they're box? like, what are you going to do with that thing? <laughs> really? Oh, like, that's cool. And I'm like, watch this. And and they're amazed. Wow. I've, I've sold about three or four of them doing that. And, and, and what, you just hook up the normal uh, jumper cables? Uh, it, it, it has jumper ca- little tiny oh, jumper really? cables on it. Yeah. And you you know just go to positive positive negative negative and as soon as it as soon as you attach it to the battery it activates the the actual jump box um, and it turns it it, it itself it, it internally that is a turns great on great gift and who now what what's it called again it's uh, it's called jump box <laughs> a jump box <laughs> a jump box with nanotechnology and who makes them uh, is there a brand name on it yeah there is and. I, you don't remember it. I don't remember it. I got it sitting in my car. I I, I hear you, but I, I want to. Th- I don't want to forget it because I'm thinking my son might, my son and daughter in like it. Buy it. Well, when, last year when uh, my well, wife. I hope they're not listening. Well, I, <laughs> last year when my wife's father passed away, um, we went up to Virginia, and it was like four below zero. Yeah. That that we got there. On whatever day it was, we got there. But the next morning when we woke up, it was four below zero. And we were, we were having to go to the funeral home to make arrangements and everything. And my brother-in-law said, well, just take his excursion. He had a Ford excursion with a diesel engine in it. Mm-hmm. And he went out there, and it, was, it wouldn't start. It was dead. Oh. And I'm like, hang on a minute. Let me go. Let me grab something. Right. And I ran to my car and I grabbed my my little bitty jump box. He started cracking up. He said that thing ain't gonna start no diesel. You're crazy. I said, well, let's try. He put it. I put it on there and boom, started. Wow. He bought one for every every one of his cars. Yeah. He just said because it's so small. Yeah. You just put it right in in the, in, the, in the car. Yeah. And uh, so it it actually started a. Uh, uh, a 7.3 turbo Ford diesel engine. So if you want to buy one of these, go to see Matt at Matt's Garage. If you need your car fixed, if you want to buy a new car, all the above can be done at Matt's place. Uh, and what's your address? My address is 1800 Northwest 10th Street. And what's your phone number? My phone number is 352-690-1993. <laughs> all right. Uh, that does sound like a great gift, by the way. It would make a great gift. All right, I guess we're done. There's your name in the song. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Larry. We'll be right back.
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Paddock.